That's going to set up Tommy Cairo teaming with Sandman to take on you and Tommy Dreamer, uh, the innovator of silence, as you <laughs> said, Edge called him. Um, you're helping make a lot of guys here. I mean, you, you're working with, you've obviously worked with Sabu, you've worked with Funk. Those guys are sort of made and established, but you're giving a little bit of the mainstream national scene rub to public enemy, certainly Mikey Whipwreck. Now it looks like Tommy Dreamer is next. What were your first impressions of Tommy Dreamer? Well, I'd known Tommy from way back in the Savoldi days when he was Tommy Dreamer with the green suspenders, almost like a Chippendale <laughs> type, type gimmick. And I liked Tommy, and I'd seen the stuff he had done. I can't remember when his original feud with Sandman was, but this was an extension of that, right. taken to the next level. And there was one specific, I think, I think Tommy saved me from getting a cigarette butt to the eye. And during the course of that match, I had uh, lacerated the top of my hand pretty you know, pretty badly in that it was wide open. It wasn't bleeding a lot because that part of your body doesn't bleed a lot, but it was like wide open so you could see the white meat. And I cut a really good promo with Tommy by my side. And I remember just holding up my hand afterward. And even though Tommy hadn't said a word, kind of solidified him and I as a team. Mm -hmm. And then that worked so well to get me to that next step of the journey, which was the anti, uh, the anti hardcore, hardcore promos. I love it.